most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Right back to Singletary on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down the line of scrimmage. Third play here on this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Stroud. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. The third down is a key down in any game you play. A third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. Davis now to return it. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front They've buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Second and five. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they get five there on third and two. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Hey, Ram, Ram, Ram. Herbert on first down now. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Second and ten. Go, go, go. Ready. Here's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And so we're into the over. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 36. Baylor Tiger, Baylor Tiger. Real 
Here's Herbert. And Herbert going to slide to a stop, and he has a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. He'll get this to Eckler. Yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's now third down and four. Herbert changing things up. He'll drop to throw. Chargers will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 7-0. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And now here's Ross. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the goal is to get back into this game. The offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now. But unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. From the 
32 now. Here's first and 10. Stroud. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. The second down throw now from Stroud. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. Come on, come on. Hey. Here's Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff him behind the line. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he is going to have a Texans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They go right back to Singletary. Now, oh boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it to the right side and caught by Dell. And he gained a five. And they're going to face a third down. Stroud off the play fake, sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Ready, break. Stroud sets up the play action. He finds his man complete. That's back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Again, it'll be Singletary. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. This Charger defense continuing to hold the line. Now it's a third and goal situation. Singletary. 
Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go. They're on fourth and goal to hit pay dirt, but they're going to go for it. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. And a penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Stroud to throw it. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And the Chargers are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. Well, Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know, we're still in the first half. A bold call nonetheless. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it. Didn't work out. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Now Herbert going to shift his guys around. On second and 12, Herbert throwing the out route. He's got Eckler. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Williams being motioned left. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Herbert off of play action. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 45-yard line. Herbert will give. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. He might score. And he takes it the distance. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags. And it's a kickoff return to end the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum. Take that good feeling. 
and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted so a little bit of a stiffer challenge now first and 15 following the delay of game a give Eckler running to the right and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six and now they're in the hurry up They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Third and long, it's Herbert. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40 yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Play pushes him all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. He's by himself, Keenan Allen. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 40. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Really? 
play action. It's Herbert. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown. Josh Palmer, 26 yards. And the Chargers continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And a fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Oh Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. On second down, it's Stroud. He's got it to Collins complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. On first down, here's Stroud. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Singletary trying the left side. Brought down at the 20. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here we go. From the 20, here's second down and eight. Stroud looking to throw. This one left side caught by Collins. Touchdown, Texans! Nico Collins, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Now the Houston offense is going to stay out there as they'll try for two. Mustang 19! Stroud's going to try to throw for the conversion. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. 
And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And they are looking good. A two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. And a short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. So first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 42-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Herbert back to the air. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert. Flushed out right. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here. Not done in the fourth. Singletary to get the drive started. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Trying to stretch the field with Schultz, and that's going to be incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. And quickly, they get to the line. Stroud to the air on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Across midfield. And finally marked down at the 23. A huge play there for Houston. 46 yards. First down, Houston. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Stroud. Eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. 
We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Here's third down at five. Stroud. Able to get away. And he is caught. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back okay, in this game. Ready? Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Chargers will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. The Charger drive about to get going. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for first and 10. It's Eckler again, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit him with a big play. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw here, Herbert. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Texans are going to take over at their own 41. Here's first and 10. Stroud. Into the hands of Singletary. Now we'll get whistles, and they signal for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. They'll come up now on second down. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. 